In seventh, Crystal Palace with six points. In eighth, Watford with six points. Bottom of the table, Everton with no points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Liverpool with no points. Third bottom, West Ham United with no points. Fourth bottom, Hull City with one point. Fifth bottom, Sunderland with one point.
Well, the Eagles of Crystal Palace, will they be flying high, do you think, Alan Smith? Yeah, I think a predictable start for this side, a team that uh, we build as a mid-table one at the start of the season, and uh, we're filling those expectations at the moment. And this is the 11 that will take the field for Middlesbrough. Victor Valdez starts in goal, in attack, the Grado starts, man of the match last time out. And he heads it for goal. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his, and he's made sure he's protected it. we're concentrating perhaps uh, on the teams but also these two lads as well they've done really well but I think both have got scope for improvement for development because they're not old and that bodes well for their teammates well it's a tough place to visit this but the away team today come here in good heart Alan they've won their last two games shots on here terrific stop and he's hung on to the ball too brilliant goalkeeping Again. Adam Forshaw. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. And the cross is in. And he's up for the header. He's reached it and turned it aside. Middle for his corner. The shot's on. And it's behind for the goal kick. And that passing is top class. In quickly. I think that's what the professionals call overplaying. Too many passes, possession squandered. Middlesbrough hoping that they can get victory here but they know it's not a straightforward task and it's a heading chance now and that will be a corner no apologies needed to show it again Mandanda stop that was top class Done the goalkeeper and he's hung on to the ball. That's a great interception. George Friend, Adam Forshaw. Johan Kabai. Good reading of the play by the defender. Here's a chance to attack. Comes in with a tackle. He had a chance to keep the ball in play, but he hasn't been able to do that. Johan Kabai. Kabai. Cut out the pass. <laughs> Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. It's a very good interception. Ramirez. Well, they're in a good position here. Baragat.
Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Defender to it first. Now Middlesbrough have a corner. The fourth official he has cleared it well. There will be a minimum of three minutes of time. They've coped with it well defensively. Good reading of the play, anticipating the pass. Well, we're halfway through, and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at... So here we go with the second half. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. The referee's given them a free kick in a real position of some danger to the opposition. kick another opportunity wasted by this team it's still level in the match James MacArthur Well, the word average comes to mind about his first half. What do you think, Alan? Room for improvement, I think you could say, from this lad. Patrick Van Arnholt. On to the attack now. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. To take the lead! It's a very good game here, a tight one. They're trying to get themselves into a position to take the lead. Adam Forshaw. There's a move afoot here, and it's a done deal. We understand Jerome Boateng has moved to Juventus. Well, I don't blame them, you know, for splashing out about £60 million on what is huge potential in this boy. James MacArthur. Possession... Changes feet. Gaston Ramirez. Strong, fair Some challenge for. out for a throw though what the manager is looking for now Alan with the game still level of course is to turn a steady performance into a spectacular one and that's why the substitution is being made this way round yeah the manager's team has been average and so has this lad's performance and they need something a bit extra now stopping the pass getting through with a good piece of Anticipation. Brilliant football from this team. Defender to it first. Still 20 minutes to go. The home team about to make a change. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. 
It's gone out for a throw. Oh, well played the referee. He's gone back to the offence that deserved the book. He didn't want to stop the play at the time, and he's quite entitled to do what he's doing here. Yeah, I think we all thought he was going to go back. But good to see advantage being played. He could lay it off to the supporting player. James MacArthur. Oh, good through ball. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Joel Ward. They've lost the ball in a bad area. And it will go into the middle now. Done well to get it wide. Not done so well with the delivery from the wide areas. The shot's on! Oh, how much difference that could have made. Well, I don't know whether nerves got the better of him because he was aware of how important it was to score there. Well, he's going to have a go, isn't he, with this substitution, the manager. It's definitely an attacking move to try and get a winning goal. Seven more minutes to go. Andros Townsend. Gone for the through pass. And the cross coming in. And that will be a goal kick. been uh, thwarted here that's a sign of better things to come Adam Forshaw has indicated that's a free kick a minimum of three minutes on its own. So the pitch And in comes the header, and the goalkeeper is the hero again. Still level pegging in this match, late on now. It might just be the save that they look back on. Arsenal nil, Southampton two, Bournemouth nil, West Bromwich Albion one, Burnley one, Hull City one, Liverpool nil, Leicester City one, Manchester United four, Manchester City one, Middlesbrough nil, Crystal Palace nil, Stoke City one, Tottenham Hotspur one, West Ham United one, Watford one. So, what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain West Bromwich Albion with 10 points. In second, Manchester United with 9 points. In third, Leicester City with 8 points. In fourth, Tottenham Hotspur with 7 points. In fifth, Stoke City with 7 points. In sixth, Watford with 7 points. In seventh, Crystal Palace with 7 points. In eighth, Chelsea with 6 points. Bottom of the table, Everton with no points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Liverpool with no points. Third bottom, Hull City with two points. Fourth bottom, West Ham United with four points. Fifth bottom, Manchester City with four points.
Well, they needed a new goalkeeper, and here he is. Yeah, it's obviously a position of uh, big responsibility. At this lad, I think he's capable of filling the ball. One area I know they've been concerned about is uh, difficulties from balls into the penalty area. They need somebody to head them away, and here we are with the new signing. Yeah, he's a player that uh, likes to attack the ball. He doesn't shy away from the physical side either. Here's the Crystal Palace team. Martin Kelly starts with Pap Suare as the fullbacks. Wilfred Zaha starts. He was man of the match last time out. In attack, Conor Wickham starts, replacing Christian Benteke, who's injured. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. In comes the challenge. There's going to be a throw in after that tackle. Poor throw, straight to the opposition. And shoots! Oh, well done, the goalkeeper, and he's hung on to the ball. Trying to find an opening, not panicking. Shots on here. I know what will happen in training, Alan, they'll do that for him and show him what an awful miss it was. Well, I don't think he'd be rushing home to watch the highlights tonight. Well, that's gone back to the goalkeeper. Into the attacking third. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Oh, his teammates will thank him for that. Well, this is how this team can play. Sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they've still got the ball. And the pass not completed, really. Mathieu Flamini. Good, strong tackle. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Reed. There's some potential in this move. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. They set it up well for the cross. There's the ball in. They cope with it well defensively. And this is going to be a throw. Martin Kelly. Cross coming in now. It's a yellow card and... Well, it was a certain yellow card, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Looking back on it, he had no choice at all. Oh, that's whistled just off target from the free kick. Yeah, unlucky. Struck it well, and I don't think the keeper would have got across. Foley. They'll 
they'll need to try and get the ball back now. Decision is a throw. It was a fair tackle. Just spotted the ball up and they're playing. Stokes. Strong tackle to break up the play. Nicely uh, done to keep on his feet and not just go to ground and hope he might get a free kick. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Good strong tackle. Well, that is half-time. And the score is nil-nil here. There's no question here that we're going to have extreme emotions at the end of the game. But at half-time, when one team's got to go through, half-time we're level. Yeah, it's been a little bit cat and mouse in the first half, Mark. It's going to be two changes here. The manager deciding to make a, quite a drastic switch. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. To put them in front. And that shot's blocked very quickly. It's another good effort. The team really battling to take the lead. At the moment, it's still all square. And the away team want to make a change. Good forward play from them. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Came in with a challenge. He's going to try it. He can't miss. And he's put that into his own net. Well, it is a goal. It is an own goal. I don't think there's much doubt about that, Alan. No, none at all. You're in those positions so often, and sometimes it does go wrong. It's a frustrating way to go behind in a match when you've contributed to the opposition scoring with the own goal I don't know whether they'll be able to keep this up they've still got the lead well, they've come out with that fierce determination that underdogs do have quite often determined not to roll over and be beaten but still some work to do there's going to be a substitution it's for the away team Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Good interception. A quick note for your diary. Make a note of this particular date. EA Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture. Crystal Palace... They'll be facing Sunderland away from home. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Well, this is clearly going to be the tactic until the final whistle, as long as it works, of course, defending. Well, one or two boos from the supporters. They're not happy with this negative approach, but I don't think they'll mind if it does the job. Quick header, found a teammate. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. And that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. They're going to have... to restart with a throw well this is very odd the losing manager he must be changing the whole shape of the team because he brought on another player but he's a defender you leave that a couple of strikers on the bench just wonder what he's thinking there's some potential in this move 
probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. And in goes the cross. He could do a better cross than that, I think. And it was easy to cope with. Now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. Some options now for the pass. Well, good through ball. Goes for goal with the header. Oh, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. So not much time left at all. What does this mean, Alan, for their next game? Well, Crystal Palace go up against Sunderland after this. Well, nobody's played well for them. They've got to do better. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe, Martin. The question is, do those players down the pitch believe as well here? Really on top of their game now. Wonderful understanding. Got the tackle in. Fantastic game, this. And it's going to go right down to the wire. There's the ball in. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. Good reading of the play by the defender. That's the end of the match at 1-0. English League Cup. Aston Villa 1, Arsenal 2, Blackburn Rovers 2, West Bromwich Albion 1, Brentford 0, Leicester City 3, Burnley 1, Norwich City 3.